So the story begins by showing a man named Fernando, who was a little upset with his life, because he doesn't feel like doing any work. That's why he makes paintings etc., but he could not see that passion in it. The one whom he was looking for, then he gets upset and goes to the psychiatrist for the solution of his problems. Who suggests after listening to his problems, that if you do some physical activity, you might start feeling like it. Hearing this, he starts learning martial arts. But even there he does not get satisfaction. That's why when he is going towards home in the evening, that's why his cigarette gets extinguished due to sudden rain. Because of which he throws it into the flowing water. The one who was taking that cigarette to the sewage of a bank in front, seeing which Fernando becomes happy. Because here he had found his purpose. He had now understood that doing which work would make him happy. In fact, he could have easily escaped by robbing a bank through this sewage. For which now he needed a good team. So he goes to his friend Sebastian. To whom he tells everything about his plan to commit robbery, then Sebastian advises him that he should first find an investor for this. So that they can make arrangements for the things used in this work like vehicle etc which seems right to Fernando too. So he goes to meet such a man. According to him, who could play the role of an investor in his work. But the man flatly refuses Fernando. Because he did not have enough money to give him funding. Due to which he gives the address of another man to Fernando. Which according to him can help Fernando. We are then shown a man named Mario, who often used to visit his daughter's parlor just so that he could beat up the girls. Seeing that, his daughter Lucy gets very angry with him, because along with doing all this, he also does the work of theft. But Mario, not paying much attention to her words, gives her the money and goes away. After which we see him entering the house through the window at night. On reaching where he very easily opens a safe and steals all the money kept inside it. Then he comes out quietly, where a car was following him. What Mario had already known. He thinks that maybe some policeman is following him. But the car actually contains Fernando. On which Mario attacks. But when he sees that Fernando has no gun. So he leaves her and goes straight to his house, where he gets a voicemail from a friend. In which he is telling Mario that a man named Fernando wants to meet him. Because he has a very big plan. So they go to meet him tomorrow, which Mario overhears arrives the next day at an ice cream parlor to meet Fernando. Where both recognize each other. Then Fernando takes Mario to show him the bank, where he makes him understand everything very well about his plan of this robbery. Then he removes the lid of a nearby sewage line and puts a measuring tape in it. So that he can measure the distance of this sewage from the road. So now both of them open another nearby main hole and go down in it, from which they come to know that this distance is actually 18 meters. Seeing all this, Mario was also convinced that Fernando's plan had merit. So he gets ready to support her in this robbery. After which he reaches directly to his daughter Lucy. Which was still very angry with him, because he had reached home very late. And he also suspected that his father has not started some wrong work again. Mario makes a lot of excuses for this. Meanwhile, the next day, Mario goes to meet him with his informant, Dibuja, where Fernando begins to tell them more things. So Mario tells Dibuja that he really liked the plan, but he doubts Fernando's ability. To which Dibuja tells him not to worry because if anything goes wrong during this robbery, he will trap him and get away. So now Mario starts listening calmly to everything Fernando says, in which we learn that Fernando was worried about the sensors installed in the bank. Which is treated by Mario. For this, the very next day, Mario goes to the bank with a friend, Sebastian. And starts taking photos of everything present there through a camera. When the matter reaches the security through the CCTV camera there, they catch hold of Mario and start searching him. At the same time, those people open his camera and start looking at it. But it is completely empty. That's why they are forced to leave Mario. Because he had very carefully removed the memory chip and the camera before the search. After which all these people together are looking at the blueprint of the bank. Where Fernando tells everyone that now they just have to find out somehow, how far is the distance from the bank's back to the sewerage manhole. Which work Dibuja does very easily. He tells that this distance is actually 60 meters and 20 centimeters. So now they had to do the work of digging a tunnel from the manhole to the same distance so that these people can get out easily along with doing robbery through that route. That's why now everyone starts working. During which they face another problem when Fernando asks to open the bank's safety box. Because they have to open more than 400 safety boxes in total. So on Fernando's advice, he goes to another branch of the same bank and rents a safety box, which gives him an idea. How will it open as well as how it looks. After which they return to the tunnel, which is half dug by Sebastian. But he needed some equipments to do further work. For which Fernando expects Mario to invest more. But he flatly refuses for this, because he had already paid a lot of money. Meanwhile, after robbing a bank, Fernando gets away with a strange van. 
which was looking strange just by looking at it. That's why the police get suspicious on them. Because of which they start checking their papers etc. This is where Albert, the new member of the team, comes in handy. He removes the suspicion of the police with the help of his wife, but he had also included his wife in all this. That's why Mario must not be feeling right. However, Albert assures her not to worry at all. He will not face any problem because of his wife. But now their difficulties were going to increase even more. Because on day one when they were drilling, due to landslide due to that, their remaining equipments also get broken. Now these guys have to ask Mario's help again to get it again. Which had completely changed after this incident. He felt that they would not be successful in this robbery, so he refused to give more money and left this team as well. Meanwhile, Fernando gets an idea while thinking about it for one day. Which he reaches out to Mario to talk about. He shares with her that the security system of the bank is very strong. Therefore, if he enters through the main gate and exits through the underground tunnel after the robbery, the police will not suspect him at all. Because these people will enter the bank during its working hours. In fact, this is the only time when most of the lockers are open. Hearing that, Mario becomes happy again. Because he was feeling strong in this plan. That's why he joins the team again. After which everyone starts preparing for the robbery. And then the day comes when they had to do this work. That's why these people wear masks and enter inside the bank through the main gate. And by controlling all the customers at gunpoint, they make them hostages. After this, he starts getting the cashier to put the money in the bag, seeing which the security officer of the bank immediately informs the police. And the very next moment the police also come there, as soon as they come, a hostage is brought out and shown to the police like this. That those people are about to exit from the main gate itself. Then these people also throw out the security officer of the bank in front of the police. Seeing what the police could not understand what they want to do. Here, the phase two of the robbery had started inside the bank, in which with the help of Sebastian, these people break open all the lockers with the help of a machine and start withdrawing money. The police standing outside did not want to create any disturbance in any kind of haste. So the captain tries to talk to Robert via phone. Mario picks up the phone. And here he starts gossiping with the police to confuse them. On the other hand, these people break all the security cameras of the bank. During which the police speak to Captain Mario. That if those people surrender now, then their punishment can be forgiven, because they will not be able to get out of here after doing anything. Meanwhile, Mario learns that one of his hostages, another lady, has a birthday today. Because of which Mario frees him as well. Then he tells the captain that he has freed a hostage. Therefore, if he wants to see the lives of other people safe, he should call the district attorney here for them. And also make arrangements for their safe exit. Meanwhile, the lockers were being broken with his ice machine. It shuts down due to overheating, so these people wait for it to cool down. However, by now Fernando has sent the money from half the lockers to Sebastian in the tunnel. Meanwhile, the captain tries to convince Mario again. But instead, Mario is wasting all of their time. Here, as soon as the machine cools down, these people quickly finish the rest of the work and start going to the tunnel. Among all of whom even the captain had realized by now that Mario was just passing the time with him. The rest of the people are cooking some other quiche inside, so he quickly calls the special forces. At the same time, Fernando leaves his gun in the bank as a sign, as soon as he leaves, all the hostages tell the police about the situation inside through their phones, hearing which the police with the help of special forces enter the bank. Comes where these people see a tunnel, at the mouth of which a grenade was hanging. That's why the captain and other policemen stay away from him. But then the captain gets a call from his junior officer, who tells him that the guns they have actually received are fake. Which meant that this grenade would also be fake. So the captain immediately removes him. And everyone goes inside it. But by now all the robbers have reached the manhole ladder via boat, on top of which a van and its driver are waiting for them. To whom all these people reach quickly with money. And ride in it and leave from there. After which the police do not even find the names of all four in the tunnel. That means with the help of fake guns and grenades, without harming anyone, they had executed such a big robbery. At the moment, everyone was very happy after getting so much money, and so that the police do not find anything, they let the van go too. So that no evidence is left behind. Then these people start spending their lives happily. But he had made a mistake in only one place, which Albert had also told about this plan to his wife. Because whenever she sees Albert with another girl. So she angrily goes and tells the police that her husband was also involved in the bank robbery that took place. With the help of which the police arrests all the money including Albert. But when Fernando learns about this, he runs away from the city, but everyone else is caught. Including Mario. Because of which his daughter Lucy comes to visit him in prison. 
She tells her father that she will get him released by getting a good lawyer. But Mario forbids him to do so. And says that he should just focus on his future. Several days later, the special forces finally capture Fernando as well. Then we see him coming out after serving his sentence. Because these people used fake weapons and not real ones. And also didn't hurt anyone. That's why they get less punishment. However, Mario was freed before Fernando, who was waiting on him when he got out of jail. And this movie is about to end.